In an age before the rise of the Republic and Empire, some throughout the galaxy started to study and explore a universal life energy called the Force, even forming religions dedicated to its worship. The most prominent of these groups became the Jedi Order of Akto, who revered the Force but also recognized its potential for misuse, training themselves to suppress emotion and channel the energy only for noble purposes. Raised from a young age to live by the Jedi Code, they used calm, compassion, and harmony to channel the light side of the Force, standing in opposition to the dark side, which used emotions like anger and hatred. The Force spoke to individuals through microscopic midichlorians, which lived inside the cells of all living beings, and those born with a special sensitivity to this energy often had enhanced physical and mental abilities, and might even be capable of prophetic visions. Though they were limited by their level of Force sensitivity at birth, with discipline and training they could become immensely powerful. Over the years, the Order traveled to many worlds, and eventually allied themselves with the government of the Republic, which became a superpower with great influence across the galaxy. Acting as their diplomats and military commanders, the Jedi protected the Republic, but a fracture within the organization soon threatened to destroy it all. It began when a rogue Jedi was cast out of the Order for experimenting with anger and hatred to unleash the power of the dark side, but not all rejected his teachings, fascinated by this new approach to gaining unique and extraordinary powers relatively quickly. The two factions then fought a civil war called the Hundred Year Darkness, and in the end, the rogue Jedi and his followers left the Republic to settle on the planet of Korriban. The Sith Order, as they became known, trained in the dark side and adhered to the Sith Code, believing personal ambition was all that should matter and must be pursued no matter the cost. As the Sith grew in strength, they went to war with the Jedi on several occasions, including the Sith Wars and Jedi-Sith Wars, conquering Republic worlds and building massive superweapons, able to destroy entire planets. The Sith even spread to the Republic capital of Coruscant, building a shrine imbued with dark powers. Yet in spite of their strength and technology, the Sith suffered from constant inner strife, plotting against each other and assassinating rivals, allowing for the Jedi to take advantage and drive them back, retaking fallen worlds and disassembling their superweapons. After liberating Coruscant, the Jedi sealed away the dark energy of the Sith Shrine and built the Great Jedi Temple upon its foundation, yet this proved a fatal error as the dark energy could not be fully contained and awaited the day it might be discovered. Though the Sith were nearly wiped out, Darth Bane, the last great master of the Old Order, survived long enough to reform the organization according to the personal philosophy he developed throughout his life. Recognizing the self-destructive nature of the Sith and wanting to avoid internal power struggles, he implemented the Rule of Two, limiting the Order to one master to embrace the power of the Dark Side and one apprentice to desire that power and eventually challenge for supremacy. In this way, they could work in the shadows, getting stronger with every new generation of Sith, while secretly manipulating events towards the goal of destroying the Jedi Order and returning to power throughout the galaxy. Although Darth Bane was eventually tracked down and defeated by the Jedi, his legacy lived on through a secret apprentice who escaped notice. Despite their victory, years of warring both with the Sith and Mandalorians collapsed the government of the Old Republic, and in its wake, a new Galactic Republic emerged, adhering to the same values of democracy, equality, and justice. The Jedi once again declared themselves defenders of the Republic, but with the Sith thought to be defeated, this time they focused on diplomacy and peacekeeping rather than destructive wars. For a thousand years, the Republic, led by a Senate and Chancellor, flourished and expanded its influence. But after so many years of prolonged stability, the government was mired in corruption and greed, as self-serving politicians manipulated the political process and galactic economy to their own benefit. At the same time, the Sith Order worked in the background, undermining the government through a vast network of spies, underworld contacts, corporate interests, and political allies. As a result, the Sith were wealthy, influential, and immensely powerful in the dark side, and so when Darth Sidious killed his master Plagueis to take over the Order, he was in a position to become the final Dark Lord who would at last unleash the revenge of the Sith. With the aid of his master, Sidious, known on his home planet of Naboo as Sheev Palpatine, was elected as a senator in the Galactic Republic, and with the aid of his apprentice Darth Maul, manufactured the Naboo Crisis to become Chancellor. Using the dark side energy of the shrine underneath the Jedi Temple, Sidious hid himself from the Jedi, and a decade later, created yet another crisis with the Clone Wars, using his new apprentice Darth Tyrannus to lead a movement of separatists with a droid army against the government. Using the war as a pretense, Palpatine authorized the creation of a clone army and encouraged the Senate to pass a number of bills giving him emergency powers. 
At the same time, he acted as a mentor to young Anakin Skywalker, a powerful Jedi he manipulated into executing his apprentice once he was no longer useful. Nearing the end of the war, the Jedi discovered Palpatine's true identity and tried to arrest him, but were betrayed by Anakin Skywalker, who was lured to the dark side with promises of immortality for himself and his beloved wife Padme. Chancellor Palpatine then announced he survived a failed Jedi coup and unleashed Order 66, activating the inhibitor chips within clone soldiers to turn them against their Jedi generals. While some few Jedi survived and fled, most were slaughtered and the Order destroyed. With everything in position, Palpatine arranged the final defeat of the Separatists and stated that because of all that occurred, the Republic must be reorganized into the First Galactic Empire, led by an Imperial Senate and himself as Emperor. But not all were prepared to give up their freedoms, and some like Senator Bail Organa of Alderaan and Senator Mon Mothma of Chandrilla worked behind the scenes to form a rebel alliance. One of the most powerful Jedi to survive was Obi-Wan Kenobi who lived in exile on Tatooine, watching over the son of Anakin Skywalker, now known as Darth Vader, believing the child might be the chosen one from ancient prophecy destined to bring balance to the Force. Luke's twin sister Leia was left with Senator Organa, who raised her as a princess of Alderaan, eventually becoming one of the leaders of the rebellion. When Luke came of age, he was trained by Obi-Wan and the great master Yoda before their passing, and alongside his sister Leia and friends Han Solo, Chewbacca, C-3PO, and R2-D2, helped the rebellion destroy two Death Stars and face the Emperor and Darth Vader in a final confrontation. Having failed to turn Luke to the dark side, Sidious was prepared to kill him, but Darth Vader was unable to watch his son die and betrayed the Emperor, throwing him down a cavernous shaft, seemingly to his death. Following their defeat in the Battle of Endor and the loss of their Emperor, Imperial Loyalists retreated to the Outer Rim, allowing the Rebel Alliance to form the New Republic government, guided by their values of freedom, equality, and democracy. Meanwhile, the remnants of the Empire descended into chaos, with many former officers, admirals, and moffs fighting over leadership. Yet soon, Fleet Admiral Gallius Rax, who was given charge over one of the Emperor's contingency plans in the case of his death, took charge of the situation, organizing a meeting of the remaining leadership, only to betray them to the New Republic, which sent a fleet to kill or capture those in attendance. Gallius Rax then orchestrated one last large-scale confrontation between the Empire and Republic at the Battle of Jakku in order to destroy the armies of both sides so that he could fulfill the destiny bestowed upon him by the Emperor and flee with the last of their ships to build a new Empire with the help of storehouses, shipyards, and laboratories secretly established in the Unknown Regions. During the years of Imperial rule, Sidious sent teams led primarily by Grand Admiral Thrawn to map the unknown regions and plant the seeds for later colonization. Unfortunately for Gallius Rex, he did not live to see his victory, as he was killed by Admiral Ray Sloan, someone he tried to use and eliminate, only for her to survive and seek vengeance. A proud and fearsome Imperial Loyalist, Admiral Sloan took over the operation of Gallius Rex and led their forces to the Unknown Regions, where they eventually formed the First Order, awaiting the day they might reclaim the galaxy. After the Battle of Jakku, Grand Visor Masamita, who technically inherited Imperial rule but had no real authority, represented the Empire in issuing a formal surrender and signing the Galactic Concordance to end the war. In addition to the New Republic, which struggled to establish their authority across the galaxy, other governments also formed, like the Confederacy of Corporate Systems and the New Separatist Union, while neglected worlds in the Outer Rim became centers of piracy and organized crime. Meanwhile, Chancellor Mon Mothma pushed through the Military Disarmament Act, drastically reducing the size of the Republic Army and Navy to instead empower individual member worlds to raise their own planetary defenses. Mon Mothma also voluntarily abolished many of the emergency powers enacted by Palpatine before retiring from public life. However, with no one else similarly able to unify the government, the Senate was mired in gridlock between the centrist faction, advocating for centralized authority under a single powerful leader, and the populist faction, seeking more autonomy for member worlds and the decentralization of power. Working in the shadows to undermine the New Republic, the First Order destroyed Leia Organa's political career by revealing that her father was Darth Vader and assassinated Tai Lin Gar, the populist candidate for first senator. After an investigation, Leia learned many senators were being bought off and realized a larger conspiracy was at play, and so resigned her position and formed the Resistance, a private military organization dedicated to facing threats against the Republic. At last ready to reveal themselves, a number of centrist senators suddenly abandoned the New Republic and pledged their allegiance to the First Order, allowing them to spread their influence into the Outer Rim. 
now led by the Dark Side Force user, Supreme Leader Snoke. He took as his apprentice the boy Ben Solo, son of Leo Organa and Han Solo, who took the name Kylo Ren. Although initially a student of Luke Skywalker, Snoke contacted him through his dreams and turned him to the Dark Side. Sensing the evil within him, Luke panicked and raised his lightsaber to strike his nephew as he slept, but then hesitated, and in that moment, Ben Solo awoke. Seeing his uncle about to kill him, he summoned his lightsaber and destroyed the temple with his force powers. And so in 34 ABY, the First Order, led by Snoke and Kylo Ren, unveiled Starkiller Base, a planet-sized superweapon, built in secret, able to destroy a number of planets in a single volley. Ready to declare war, General Hux launched an attack destroying several worlds, including Hosnian Prime, the capital of the New Republic, wiping out their government and primary military forces. With the aid of the war heroes Han Solo and Chewbacca, as well as Rey, a young but powerful Force user, Finn, a former stormtrooper, Poe Dameron, a pilot, and the droid BB-8, the Resistance was able to strike back and destroy Starkiller Base. During the fighting, Kylo Ren murdered his father Han Solo and took a wound from a bowcaster before losing a duel to Rey and escaping the planet as it broke apart. With the New Republic in chaos, the First Order became the new central government, and while many feared them, only the resistance of Leo Organa stood in opposition. Unfortunately, the First Order was able to track them through hyperspace, resulting in a battle which killed Admiral Akbar and nearly all of their leadership. Being chased by the First Order and down to less than 400 people, the Resistance fled to the nearby planet of Krait, while Vice Admiral Holdo crashed their last vessel into the enemy flagship Supremacy to buy them time. Meanwhile, on the planet Octo, Luke Skywalker struggled to train the girl Rey as he lost faith in the Jedi after his failure to form a new order. Rey, in turn, was struggling to remain with the light side as she felt an immediate connection to the dark side energy of the island and was experiencing a telepathic connection with Kylo Ren, bonding with him and learning more about why he turned against the Jedi. Discovering the connection to Kylo, Luke demanded that she leave and they briefly dueled with a staff and stick before she knocked him to the ground. Believing there was still good inside Kylo, she made her way to the flagship Supremacy where she was brought before Snoke who revealed he created the connection between them. But when the Supreme Leader ordered Kylo to kill her, he instead activated the lightsaber by Snoke's side, killing his dark side master. Kylo and Rey then fought side by side as they defeated the elite Praetorian Guard and after the battle, considered ruling the galaxy together. But Kylo wanted to continue embracing the dark side while Rey sought the light and they again clashed before going their separate ways. With Kylo Ren as their new ruler, the First Order trapped the Resistance on Crate. But just as all hope seemed lost, Luke Skywalker appeared and fought a duel with his nephew, giving his allies time to escape aboard the Millennium Falcon. By the time Kylo realized he was fighting a Force projection, it was too late and he sensed Rey one last time before they departed. Unfortunately, the effort was too much for Luke Skywalker, who died and became one with the Force. A special thanks to all those who contribute to Civilization X, like Average Soul the Healer, Knight of Potions and Restoration, Feanor Nathan, the Emperor of Mankind, and Checo the Clever. If you'd like to help the channel, go to patreon.com slash civilizationx, where you can sign up and gain early access to videos, vote on future content, and access the Patreon-only series, Heroes of Lore and Legends.